Hector the Horrid. Thomas the Tank Engine enjoys shunting troublesome trucks. He can biff them harder and faster than any other engine. It's one of his favorite jobs. One morning, Sir Topman had an important announcement. James and Edward must make extra deliveries of coal. Thomas, you must shunt and fill free cars at the coaling plant. James and Edward must collect them this afternoon. Thomas was very pleased. Just then, Bill and Ben chuffed by. Between them was a big black truck. It was biffing them. What are you two doing? Bill and Ben told them they were delivering the truck to the calling arm. Why does it need two engines to deliver one truck? Because he really doesn't like to be shunted. His name's Hector, but we call him Hector the Horrid. Bill and Ben chuffed slowly away with Hector. He does look troublesome. Troublesome trucks don't worry me. I could biff him firmly into place. Later, Thomas chuffed into the calling plant, and there was Hector. The other trucks giggled and laughed. Big, bad, strong, and solid. Dead truck's name is Hector the Horrid. Ah. Thomas puffed close. Keep away. Bill and Ben were right. Hector is scary. And Hector is horrid. Thomas decided to keep away. Thomas spent the morning shunting the other trucks and filling them with coal. All the time, Thomas could feel Hector the horrid was watching him. The calling plant manager came to see. We need an extra large delivery, so Rosie is coming to help you. You must shunt and fill Hector, then add him to the back of James's train. Later, Rosie puffed into the yard. She saw Hector. Wow, do we have to shunt and fill that big truck, Thomas? Yes, but he doesn't want to be shunted. His name is... But before Thomas could finish, Hector opened his mouth and let out the biggest roar ever. Keep away! Rosie was so surprised, she shocked from fun out of footplate. Oh. And she steamed straight out of the calling plant. This made Thomas cross. Hector had biffed and bashed Bill and Ben. He had shouted at Thomas and he had frightened Rosie. So much that she had puffed away. Now the extra delivery would never be ready. Thomas had had enough. He puffed up bravely in front of Hector and gave him a mighty biff. Hector rolled backwards. He was very cross. Keep away! No, I won't. You are causing confusion and delay. You really are horrid. Then, with a mighty biff, Thomas sent Hector rolling backwards into a set of buffers. Hector crashed off the track. Thomas felt very bad. He hadn't meant to knock Hector over. Thomas puffed up to Hector. Hector lay on his side, looking very sad. Now Hector didn't seem worried. I'm sorry I biffed you so hard, but why don't you want to be shunted? <sighs> because I'm scared. Why? I knew. And I haven't been filled with coal before. I don't know what it feels like. That's why I didn't want to be shunted. Thomas was surprised. 
Later, Rocky and the workman arrived and lifted Hector back onto the track. Thomas wanted to help Hector. Sometimes I'm scared when I have to do something new, but Cole isn't scary. Hector Wash watched as Thomas rolled under the coal hopper. Black and dusty coal poured into Thomas's coal box. When the dust settled, Hector saw that Thomas was smiling. See, it's not scary. Now Hector was excited. I'd like to be filled with coal too. We must hurry. Thomas pulled Hector quickly under the coal hopper. Hector was quickly filled with coal. It felt wonderful. Then Thomas shunted Hector into place just in time. James and Edward puffed into the yard. They saw the waiting trains. James was very surprised to see Hector at the back. Well done, Thomas. The tr trains were soon coupled up. James and Edward puffed away for the special deliveries. They were very surprised to hear Thomas whistling. Good luck! But the whistle wasn't for them. It was Thomas tooting to his new friend, Hector the Not Horrid at all.